Hi, I'd just like to demonstrate how to change all parts of a polyhedral compound uh, with a different shape uh, using Stellar 4D or Great Stellar. Uh, so we're going to start by opening a compound. This is our category list here. Uh, drop that down. Uh, there's lots of categories. Go down to Stellar Library, which uh, has even more categories, which come up over here. Uh, select Compounds. Um, and the compounds now moves over here, and uh, these are all the compounds available. Go down to five cubes, a uh, familiar model for a lot of people. Um, now we don't really need the dual view over here, so I'm just going to switch to choose layout, uh, a single view. Okay, um, so there's our, our compound. Um, I'm going to start by putting that in a memory slot. Edit, put in memory, uh, the shortcut key is M, we'll use that next time. Memory slot one will do. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, now I want to pull one part out of this, so select a face uh, by double clicking on it uh, and go to poly, keep one part of compound. So click that and all the other parts disappear and we've got just that one. Now I'm going to edit this in some way to make a new model and then we're going to put that back into the original compound. So start by going poly Augment polyhedron, you could do whatever you want to it, but this is what I'm going to do. Augment polyhedron, we're going to put an anti-prism on each side. Uh, all faces are going to be augmented, yes. Augment, okay. So there is a cube with uh, an anti-prism on each side. Uh, now, keep an eye on the uh, tips down the bottom here. Uh, they tell you what the mouse does. Left for tumble, right for zoom. Uh, now what I'm going to do is hold down control and while I'm in this augmentation preview mode uh, it gives us a few options. Uh, so left button you can see is set augmentation height so that changes the height of the anti-prism uh, and still holding down control. Right button to scale the top of the anti-prism so we can scale it down you can go retrograde if you want like that uh, but we're going to scale it down to about there that looks okay so hit enter to accept that uh, augmentation. Now I'm going to uh, put that in a memory slot, so hit M, slot 2 is free, uh, and I'm going to add that to the original cube, so control Z to undo and go back to the cube we had, and then edit, add, add to the augmented cube, and there it is. So um, that looks the same as it did before, but the cube is inside. Hold down control and shift, and you'll see it says explode down here, and then drag, and you can see the cube faces inside. I'm going to select one of those, we need that for the next step. And then control shift again, right click to unexplode. Um, now put that in a memory slot, so M again, and we can overwrite slot 2 now. Uh, and then I'm going to bring back the compound, so shift M uh, is to recover from the memory slot. Uh, memory slot 1 is where we put the compound. Now I'm going to hit A to augment again. Now this time, instead of an anti-prism, we're going to augment from memory. Uh, drop down the memory list, there's the uh, compound of a cube and the augmented cube. Uh, all faces, yes. Uh, excavate, so that we're going to subtract off the cubes in the compound with the cube from this other model we made. Uh, now I'm also going to change this. Keep colors from original model, that would make them all orange, it would be the colors from that model we just had and put in memory. Um, instead I'm going to go inherit colors from augmented faces, so that means the uh, colors from the original compound are going to come through, and that's done what we wanted. This is the augmentation preview, hit enter to accept that, and uh, there's the finished model, and you can see in blue for example, you can see that augmented cube, and this is a compound of five of them, so that's how you do it. Thanks.